going on. Um, but the but the jumbo loans are back now. You still can't do a cash out refinance on a jumbo. So you know if you've been thinking about taking out cash to consolidate debt, that 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 isn't going to happen. But if you wanted to do a refinance to lower your interest rate, absolutely all day long. If you want to buy a home, do a purchase, and you need a jumbo loan, absolutely all day long. So you know those those have not gone away. FHA's are still low down payments. We still have 620 credit scores for conventional, 620 credit scores for FHA, which is great. Um, I believe our VA uh, is even lower, right, Larry? Yeah, I believe it is. I'm pretty uh, sure we're at 580, right? 580, correct. So our VA loans went back down to, to 580. They were they they did get pushed up to 620 for a minute, and now they're back down to the 580, which is great. So we're starting to see things open up again, and there is absolutely some sort of financing for everybody. Now, if you want to get into a higher price range and you just don't quite fit that bubble, like Larry said, maybe what we need to do is a game plan. Maybe we need to talk about not buying today, but keep saving and this is what your goal needs to be and you need to get to this number. And when you get here, then this is where you're gonna be able to go to. So it's all about making that plan and knowing what you need in order to accomplish that goal. And if you don't call us and talk to us, we can't help you with that plan. We can't take you through the numbers. We can't let you know or tell you what, what you don't do or don't need. Um, but you know, we, we've still got some pretty decent credit scores. Now cash out on all programs and correct me if I'm wrong, Larry, because things change every day right now. Um, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but cash out is 680 no matter what program that it is. Is that accurate? That's correct. Okay, That's accurate. and that is VA and everything, right? Correct. Yeah, so VA, FHA, conventional, if you want to do a cash out refinance, Jumbo's different. So remember when I said no cash out refinance, that was jumbo, a jumbo loan. If you are not in a jumbo loan, but you are you know, a conventional loan, FHA or VA, you do have to have a 680 credit score. She's a mortgage mom. This is Debbie Marcou, the mortgage mom. Hey, did you refinance maybe six months ago, eight, a year? And we all thought interest rates were so great. They were lower than they had been in quite some time. Well, guess what? They're even lower today. Give me a call. It's 844-935-3634. Let's talk one-on-one. -on -one. And let's see if a new refinance is something that you should consider. Maybe it's not. I'm a straight shooter and I'm going to let you know. It's 844-935-3634. Give me a call and let's see what we can do. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go. Pick up the phone and call mom. Debbie Marcus is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight of the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. California NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Texas and Tennessee. 184373. Arizona 0941504. And Nevada 57237. Ask the Credit Cowboy about your credit needs. Hi, y'all. Steve Altoni and the Credit Cowboy from Credit Law Solutions. Do you have questions about your credit and how it may be preventing you from purchasing your dream home? Ask the Credit Cowboy. Offer a free consultation where we'll go over where your credit currently is and how we can help you improve your credit so you can get into your dream home today. Call the Credit Cowboy at 818-932-9531. Ask the Credit Cowboy. So, Larry, talk a little bit, explain to them, and I know you know this answer because I know it and you know everything I know. Um, explain to them why they we would have seen credit score increases on cash out. Why, why is that a direction that investors would have gone? Well, rates are always based on risk. So, you know, they look at whether the home is your primary residence. Is it uh, an investment property? Investment properties carry a higher risk, so rate is higher. So same with credit scores, you know, the higher your credit score, the better the rate. So when markets tighten up and things get a little, you know, secondary markets get nervous, they always tighten up guidelines and they tighten up, you know, so it makes it harder. So in order to get, you know, they, they limit people that they want to have the best scores to fit in that box. They want, you know, the, they, they might even cut, you know, the equity, like you used to be able to go 85% to take cash out on an FHA. Now you can only go 80%. They, they shrink the box a little bit because they only want the best borrowers when the markets tighten up. So that's, you know, you start to see that. Now, 
you know, like I said, you know, Debbie said, like Jumbo's you know, pause for a minute, but it's back. And, and as markets loosen up and as people continue to open their businesses and go back to work and unemployment, you know, starts to go back down, you'll see, you'll see those things loosen again. Um, but they always tighten up, you know, at a time of panic. Oh. And that's what happened. Pretty much, we panicked. Oh, oh, absolutely! Everybody panicked it and didn't know, you know, what was to come. And and there's there's still a little bit of you know gloom gloom there that they're yeah. you know not quite sure exactly where things are going to go. Um, but but like Larry said, you know, it's all based on risk. And so when let's just say doomsday comes and the property values do drop, who are the first people that are going to walk away from their homes? The ones that have already cashed out their equity. And their property values have dropped to a point that the house is worth what they owe on the house or maybe less. And those are the first people that are going to walk away. So right now, there's a, a higher risk factor when you're taking cash out of your home than there is if all you're trying to do is take a lower interest rate and drop your monthly payment or get rid of your mortgage insurance. So when you're doing a cash out, they're bumping the credit scores that they're willing to buy. The secondary market is got investors that have appetite for certain types of loans. And the appetite for the loans right now, if it's cash out, is 680 or above. Sure, there's some investors that will buy the lower credit scores, but it makes it more difficult for a large company like Movement Mortgage to, you know, package loans and sell them to the secondary, you know, market. They, they need to be able to do that in bulk and, and many of them. So it makes it much easier when you've got more investors that are willing to you know, invest in your package, it makes it easier to sell. So if we do cash out with a 680 or better, those are people that have a good credit score right now, even if they're taking cash out, if the property values do drop, they're very conscientious of their credit already, their credit scores are good, they, they're less likely to default, which is why it's making it easier for those loans to be sold today. Again, we're it's it, right now we're at 680. This is a, a small pause. As we see things open up, like Larry said, as we see businesses getting back to work, as we see people going back to work, unemployment numbers going down, payments on our mortgages being made, not um, missed. Forbearance. Exactly. So, you know, right now people really aren't missing mortgage payments because they've got the opportunity of forbearance if they're in a bad situation. But when forbearance is over, are those people going to start making those payments? That's that's part of the question mark that we can't see the future. But assuming that people are getting back to work and they've got a job and income is back in and mortgage payment is due and we start seeing that those payments are being made, we're going to start seeing a lot of loosening in the market. We're going to start seeing those credit scores for cash out go back down again. And we're going to see those down payment assistance programs coming back. And we're going to see those equity lines of credit that are in second position that are very difficult to collect on in the case of you know a foreclosure or a default we're going to start seeing those come back again as well so you know there's there's a lot of positive we've already seen so many positive changes i mean huge right larry right and i think it's important that the market did react that way because it really helps all of us like you might say look i have a 650 credit score i can't take cash out on my home right now but in the long run that's going to help everybody that they took those kind of uh, actions because if they didn't and those people did turn into a foreclosure, that hurts everybody. You know, there's foreclosures on the market and it drives, you know, prices down and it drives rates up and it's not good for the market. It's not, you know, banks don't, banks lose money on a foreclosure. Always, 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 always. always. So in the long run, it helps everybody by, by you know, tightening those guidelines a little bit. And then they'll loosen up, like Debbie said, when the time comes. But they were quick to react, and I think that's a positive thing that banks did this time. Unlike, you know, in 2008 when they were just, you know, lending money to anybody and everybody with their eyes closed. And before they could even do anything, all of a sudden they had record number of foreclosures. Yeah. This time they've reacted in a positive way. And I think that that's why the market has remained strong. That's why people are buying homes. And, and, and that's why, you know, you can take advantage of it at this time. Absolutely. So um, we're going to call it a show, but I want you guys all to think about me while I am on my boat in Parker relaxing. <laughs> and Larry is taking all of the calls and making sure that you guys are all taken care of. You're getting all of your questions answered, your game plans put together, 
you know, it, honestly, Larry is amazing. He is here for you guys. Give him a call. It's 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. That's L-E-N-D and the number four. If you guys are listening on Saturday morning, you guys should tune in every Wednesday at 5. We are doing this live. Now, Come next back. Wednesday... I am not on, so don't look. But what you guys can do is you guys can subscribe to the channel right now in YouTube. Search Mortgage Mom Radio and subscribe.